Have you ever had an engine that suffered from low compression and you didn't want to put a lot of money into it, you didn't want to do a rebuild, and you're wondering, what additive can I use to restore compression? I've had literally hundreds of people ask me to test Rizlone. Rizlone claims that it can improve the compression of an engine by filling in gaps from scratches. But here's the problem. This small engine is in terrific condition. In fact, the engine produced 109 PSI during the last compression test. So before we can test this product, we've got a good baseline. What we have to do now is cause some damage to this engine and then test Rizlone to see if it can actually help improve the compression. So if you like destructive engine testing and you want to see if this additive can help restore this engine to where it should be, today's video should be pretty interesting. This hose I've added to the crankcase ventilation um, tube that's coming out of the engine. And the reason I want to have the crankcase ventilation um, attached to a hose is because during this testing, we're going to add sand to the carburetor and it's going to cause this engine to experience a lot of blow-by. We're going to see probably some oil dripping out of this hose. Additionally, we're going to see a lot of um, smoke coming out of the hose from all the blow-by. That'll let us know that we've done enough damage to this engine and to go ahead and add Rizlone to give it a test. Okay, as you can see, it's just a shade below the full mark. So there's many ways to measure blow-by. So what we're going to do is take the crankcase ventilation hose that I've put together, and we're going to put a balloon, attach a balloon to it, and get a baseline measure to see how long it takes for the engine to inflate this balloon. Then after we run sand through the engine, we're going to see how long it takes for the balloon to inflate and measure the difference. And finally, what we'll do is add the Rizlone to the engine. Okay, this thing is not appropriately named. It's not, not no longer a weed eater, it's gonna be a sand eater. So we're gonna go ahead and rename this thing. Okay, so inside this cup, I have some sand, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is basically scoop out the sand and put it up next to the engine, let the engine suck in the sand. And what this sand is going to do, it's gonna rough up the cylinder walls and cause the engine to start smoking and it's gonna cause a lot of scoring. Again, Rizlone is supposed to fill in these scratches or these, um, it's supposed to fill in all the damage that this, this will cause. As you can see, there's some really bad scoring on these cylinder walls, so this is going to really put Rizlone to the test. You can see the variation in oil color. There's a lot of aluminum. There's a lot of metal inside this oil. So just as a reference, what I'm going to do is pour some of this oil into this jar so we can look at uh, just how metallic and dark it looks. Okay, I've got three types of oil. This is new oil. You can see right through it very clearly. In the middle here is the oil we just took out. There's a lot of metallic in it. Look how silver that is. You can see a lot of metallic in this. And on the far side is some oil I pulled out of a vehicle that has, I use this oil about 4,000 miles. It's a synthetic blend. But see how black it is? And what I'm gonna do is just drizzle a little bit of this black into the silver and you can really see the difference there. I'm just gonna add regular oil right now because I need to flush out a lot of the metal that's inside this engine. All right, the oil is still very metallic. I'm going to go ahead and have to add some more clean oil and just run it again, just see if I can clean up this oil a bit and get all this metal out. 
Rizlone claims it actually fills gaps and scratches in cylinder walls, eliminating blow-by and compression loss while also reducing friction and wear. According to the instructions, one bottle treats four to six quarts of oil. So I, I want to keep this realistic. I don't want to add the whole bottle of Rizlone to an engine that only holds 20 ounces. So I'm going to be fairly conservative. I'm going to use about four ounces of Rizlone in this small engine. And the first thing I'm going to do is shake up the product real good. Rizlone is a very thick additive and I can tell that it's made this oil a lot thicker. Okay, I cycled out the oil twice and it's coming out clean now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the oil that has the Rizlone in it. Look how thick that is. This may be hard to see, but there appears to be some really solid buildup. Now, this did not exist when I put the head back on when I had uh, ran sand through it, but I think this is the Reslone that has created some, some chunks. So it doesn't appear that Reslone has done anything to repair the scoring on this engine. One of the nice things about being 100% self-sponsored is I can provide unbiased reviews of products without any sort of pressure from a manufacturer or a sponsor. So in this case, I'm going to have to say that I'm not impressed with Rizlone. Uh, I did not see any sort of improvement as far as the compression reading. Also, it seemed to cause a problem. Inside the combustion chamber, I noticed a lot of buildup that looked very unhealthy. In fact, it looked like it could get in the way of the valves at some point and cause significant issues with the combustion process. So anyway, not impressed with this product, but if you've used it and achieved good results, I'd like to hear from you because this is just my experience and my experiment. Also, we plan to use this specific engine for future tests. The sand eater is going to be great for testing out different additives that are supposed to restore compression. So if there's an additive that you've experienced good results with that improves compression, please write in and let me know so we can test it. I spent a lot of time and effort in these videos. I hope I've earned a thumbs up. Also, if you want to be notified of future videos when I publish them, you might want to select the bell. As usual, I just want to say thank you very much for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time.